Can you get rich and make a lot of gold from sea forts in Sea of Thieves? Sea forts are one of the most easiest voyages, events, raids that you can do in the game. Initially advertised as a log on and log off event that any player can do, whether they're a new player or a veteran on the seas. I wanted to see if we could use these to make the most amount of gold possible using nothing but a grade 5 gold hoarder emissary and one hour to spare. If you're new here, subscribe for more content and leave a like. After raising the gold hoarder emissary, I voted down a skeleton fleet raid voyage. Currently, the skeleton fleets are even easier than usual because skeletons do not repair their own boats. So by doing these raids twice, over, we can get incredibly close to grade 5 emissary. By the time we finish the first fort, we will be grade 5 and ready to continue with the rest of the forts in this run. The great thing about the location of sea forts is that they are located incredibly close to outposts, so the idea of speedrunning them for this hour goes as follows. Dive, park right here on every fort, kill phantoms while searching for the storeroom key, storeroom loot in harpoon place, finish waves, kill the boss, loot in the harpoon spot, harpoon the loot, and then sell, and then finally repeat. Using this method over and over allows me to complete the whole cycle in about 10 minutes on average. This whole run can require a lot of focus if you're trying to do it efficiently, like in my case, which is why, thanks to the incredible partner of the channel, Mad Monk, I'm hooking you guys up. I personally have been using Mad Monk for so long now, day to day, and it helps me in moments like this where I need to maintain focus over long periods of time. It's as simple as taking Mad Monk, and for the next three to six hours, you're gonna see increased energy and drive, sharp focus, Focus, increased brain and memory capacity and higher levels of stress control. All this without the regular crashing feeling like you get with normal caffeine and energy drinks. I'm super excited to be announcing that if any of you use my link madmonk.gg forward slash mystique you will get free shipping on all products. And not only that, for a limited time, if you order any two products using my link and then in the checkout apply code KDA, you will receive a free yearly plus supply of the KDA spray. So what are you waiting for? Head over to madmonk.gg forward slash mystique. The link is at the top of the description. After our first C4, we managed to secure around 30,000 in gold. Now this doesn't seem like a lot, but when you consider that this is in 11 minutes from diving, sailing, completing and selling, that's not bad going. It can take some getting used to to get a time like that, so I would suggest running a sword and pistol and saving the kegs for the final boss. Another small bit of advice here is that there is no other loot apart from the storeroom key that can spawn in any cupboards and boxes around the fort, like it would on normal forts. We want to be doing the raid voyages, so we can dive between the forts. Overall, we managed to complete four full cycled forts within an hour but exactly how much gold did this net us and is it worth to set up and complete yourself? For our first four, like I said, we managed to make around 30,000 gold. Specifically, this was 29,913 in gold. This is without any gold pouches or gold piles from the vault. Our second fort, we made 35,743 in gold, which is almost a 5k increase from the first fort, and this is solely down to RNG. Our third fort, we made 24,118 gold, and for our last fort, we made 38,975, which was our best yet. So, let's crunch the numbers. All in all, I managed to do four forts in 55 minutes, which gives us an average of 31,547 gold per fort and a total of 126,188 gold within an hour. This gives us a gold per minute of roughly 2,294. This is our average case, based on the RNG I got in this run. If you get the worst possible RNG, which for me was 24,118, you could get a potential of 96,472 per hour, and the best being 155,900 per hour. Bear in mind these are raid voyages, dive to, and so they're incredibly easy. So is it worth it? Kind of. If you want low risk gold, do this, but ultimately if you're wanting the maximum amount of gold and don't care about other players and risk, maybe try something else. Ultimately, Sea of Thieves is built to playing the way you want, so you can hop on for an hour and try this. Just know you're making a decent amount of gold for your time. And to be honest, sea forts are kind of fun. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more content. If you're looking for another video to watch, there is a video on the screen right now.